It's 12 minutes to 8 and time for thought for the day. The speaker... I see the plumbers are here then. Why is it, no matter however many times I tell them, they always park their bloody van so it's almost impossible for anyone else to get in or out of the drive? I don't know. Maybe they just like being awkward. They've been making that racket ever since they arrived. What are they doing anyway? They're putting in a new boiler. The old one's been on the way out for ages. I thought they weren't supposed to install gas boilers anymore. Aren't we all supposed to be getting heat pumps or something? Only if you're happy with the place being a few degrees above freezing and can put up with the constant noise it makes. Heat pumps only work if you take out all the existing radiators and replace them with new massive ones. And on top of that, you have to have the whole place insulated. I mean, how does the government expect people to afford to pay for all that, for Christ's sake? And in the end, does it reduce their energy bills? No, because electricity is much more expensive than gas. So what's the point? It's supposed to slow global warming and stop climate change, isn't it? So, having spent all your life savings on replacing almost everything in your house and finding it's made no difference to your energy bills, at least you can go to work on the bus feeling really smug because you're saving the planet. Anyway, they should get it finished today. Have you heard the latest woke rubbish? Apparently, we're going to have to arrange courses to make staff aware of microaggressions and how to avoid them so as not to inadvertently cause offence. What? What are microaggressions then? Certain inflections in speech and facial expressions that might indicate a negative feeling towards other people, like eye-rolling, apparently. Still, better get on. Oh, did you sort out the mops? Yep, think so. Right, perhaps I'd better look in on the way. That's better. Although why they have to be that way up, I've no idea. Still, seeing as nobody's ever going to use them, as long as the CQ's he's happy, it doesn't matter. Tell me, why isn't the bucket on top of the gender-neutral one? We couldn't work out which way up it was supposed to go. I thought I heard you come in, Rufus. Are the plumbers going to be making that noise all morning? Probably. What are they doing anyway? Putting in a new boiler. I thought we weren't supposed to. Don't you start. I've just had all that from Millie. I like the new car. You decided not to go for electric then? No. The technology is just not there yet. Not to mention the lack of infrastructure to charge them. Then when you do find a charging point that's either free or not broken, they take forever to charge. Seems to me, if you buy an electric car, you'd better develop a liking for motorway service station food. But they're much more economical, aren't they? That won't last. They're no longer exempt from road tax, and pretty soon the government's going to realise just how much they're losing in fuel duty. So what'll they do? Charge duty on the electricity used to charge the bloody things. What are you doing, Millie? Aren't you supposed to be on reception? Sharon weren't feeling well, so she asked me if I'd nurse for Krista for a while. By the way, this coffee's cold. Well, it weren't cold when I brought it in half an hour ago. Your kids go to private school, don't they? Yes. Are you worried that Starmer says Labour will put VAT on school fees if they get in? No, just electioneering nonsense from Sir Flip Flop, who's got as much charisma as a piece of wood and would say anything if he thought it would get him into power. <coughs> Wouldn't make any difference anyway. Labour are trumpeting about what they're going to do with all the extra money it'll provide, whereas the reality is there won't be any extra money. Won't there? Private schools are businesses, and if they put VAT on the fees, the schools will just use it to claim back the VAT they have to pay on expenses, like all other businesses do. So the fees will stay the same, and the government won't benefit at all. Do you think Labour's going to win the next election? I think it's more a case of the Tories losing it. Worrying, though, isn't it, that Sir Forbitu Beforeby, a man who doesn't know the difference between a man and a woman, might well be Prime Minister soon. Is that what he said? He said it's obviously wrong to say that a woman can't have a penis. Makes you think he must have dated some pretty strange women. Actually, I saw a patient the other day, and I honestly couldn't work out if it was a man or a woman. That could have been awkward. You don't want to be accused of misgendering. You mean like that teacher who was suspended for referring to a girl as a girl, not realising that on that day they happened to be identifying as a boy. Actually, nowadays it seems being labelled transphobic is pretty much the worst crime you can commit. 
brilliant seeing Starmer tying himself in knots when asked whether he thought only women have a cervix. What did he say, Rufus? I think he said it wasn't right to say that. So what do you think? I know what you're supposed to think, but I remember when we were rummaging around in the abdomen in the anatomy block, nobody ever had a male body with one. Quite honestly, I think we should respect people's decisions to be whatever they want to be and treat them accordingly. Like that guy I saw walking up my drive the other day. As he got nearer, I could see he was wearing a T-shirt that said, Today, I am self-identifying as a rabbit. What did you do, Rufus? I shot him. Ah, Stefan, how's it going? We're getting there, boss. We've got to move a lot of pipe work around, though. Do you think you'll get it finished today? Today? Oh, shouldn't think so. Sometimes these jobs can take the best part of a week, you know. A week? But you did say... We see how we get on. Might be sooner. We do a good job, boss. Jesus Christ, however long they tell you a job's going to take, it always seems to take twice as long. Have you noticed? Apparently, everything's a crisis now. I mean, we've got the energy crisis, the housing crisis, the NHS crisis, and to top the lot, the cost of living crisis. And apparently, it's all the government's fault, which of course it isn't. Didn't people realise that we'd have to pay for the bloody lockdowns and furloughs sometime? And on top of that, the war in Ukraine is responsible for the huge increase in energy costs. Does Cressida need any help with that extraction, Millie? Not yet. But you will in ten minutes. 